Let's teach you how you to put on a pillowcase. Getting ready for a new house guest. For the last year, Trish and Matt have been providing short-term foster care for teenagers urgently in need of somewhere safe to stay. And they're now urging others to consider opening up their homes too. We were full of nerves, but I think once you learn about it, we are capable and we are able to provide a loving, supporting home, which a lot of children do need. So it, it turned out to be an easier decision in the end. And by doing that, we really reflected on the childhood that we'd had and the loving environment that we've got here. Um, and it really kind of changed our perception on, on how we would want to grow our family. But despite the couple's efforts, there's the need for more foster carers to sign up. Just over 14,000 children were referred to Bernardo's fostering services last year. That shot up to just over 19,000 in the 12 months to the 31st of July this year, an increase of 36%, which the charity puts down to the ripple effect caused by the pandemic. Many families are now still realising what it will mean for them. They'll have lost maybe extended family support networks, Many of our support services haven't been available during the pandemic. And with children returning to school, teachers and other professionals are picking up on some of the issues. When I was with you both, it felt like home. We've had so many memories. We'll have so many more memories in the future and I'm gonna miss you guys so much. Any other child to go there should be blessed because I sure was. Love you loads. Matt and Trish say being foster carers is emotionally fulfilling. They fostered six children so far, and hope to make their house a home for many other youngsters for many more years to come. Catherine Nash, Five News.